hello guys today we'll be taking a look at formatting word processing documents now in our previous video we learned how to open microsoft word we learned that microsoft word is one of the word processing programs in a sense that it helps users to create text based documents now today we'll be taking a look at how to change the appearance and layout of a text now when we say formatting formatting is the process of changing the appearance and layout of a text formatting talks about the looks of your document now the reason why we format documents is to make the documents readable attractive and then presentable now let me walk you through some few procedures in formatting a document to make it readable attractive and then presentable to be able to do this we are going to generate a random text for the sake of time we are not going to type everything but rather generate a random text and work with let's do that by typing a command begin with the equal sign and then type rand which is r a n d open a bracket and then let's enter the number of paragraphs we want now let's let's write so let's type five and then close the bracket now the command that we've written here simply means that we are instructing microsoft Word to generate a random text which is having five paragraphs we are telling the program that we need a random text having five paragraphs now right after entering this press enter on your keyboard enter we have a random text generated on our screen here in our document now the first thing that i'll take I would like you to learn here or I will take you through is how to select text. Now we have several ways of selecting text in Microsoft Word. The first one that, that we will be discussing is how to select a word. Now in Microsoft Word, to select just a word, you don't have to click and drag. You just have to move to the word and then just double click on it. Now let me zoom in a bit. I believe you remember what we use for zooming. We talked about it in our previous lesson. These are the zoom tools. Clicking on them, any of them will perform the function we learned about. Now, to let's go back to what we're doing. To be able to select the word, you move the mouse pointer to the word and double click on it. Now let's select the word professionally. Move the mouse pointer to professionally, a double click now it is selected anywhere that's all that you want to select on the screen just move to it double click it gets selected double click it is selected double click it is selected double click it is selected now that is how we select a word in a word program like microsoft word now the next thing is how to select a sentence. A complete sentence is actually a sentence that ends with a full stop, right? To be able to select a sentence, hold down the control key on the keyboard and then click anywhere in the sentence. So let me select the first sentence here in paragraph 2. I'm holding down the control key. Now I'm selecting it. Now it has selected the first sentence on the second paragraph now let's move to the previous paragraph hold down the control key and then click anywhere select up to the first full stop that is key go to the third and then click anywhere in any of the sentence with the control key held down now it has selected a sentence within the third paragraph now that is how we select a sentence also to select just a line of text you need to move the mouse pointer to the left margin now as you can all see we have a normal select keza which is an arrow pointing to the top left 
corner of your screen but now in microsoft word we have the text select cursor whenever you are moving around areas where you can type the mouse pointer normally changes to a text select cursor now when you move the mouse pointer to the left margin of your document you realize that the mouse pointer changes to an arrow pointing to the right top of your screen and this arrow is what we call the right select the right select now this is what we use in selecting lines of text to be able to select the second line on the first paragraph move the mouse pointer to the left margin and make sure that it is at the same level with the second line right after that left click the mouse and it is selected to be able to select the first line on the second paragraph move the mouse pointer to the left margin at the same level with that line you just click so that is how we select lines of text now i'm selecting several lines of text based on the position of the mouse pointer in the left margin now the next thing is several lines of text to select several lines of text you move to the beginning of the line of text you want to select from all within the left margin move the mouse pointer to the left margin at the same at the at the same level with the first line of text you want to begin your selection from you just click and drag to the last line of text you want to end your selection and then it is selected you don't have to click and drag with so much in fact stress just move to the left margin and then you'll be able to select several lines of text by clicking and dragging down to the line of text you want to end your selection now the next thing that i would like us to take a look at is how to use the keyboard to do your selection with the shift key held down you can use any of the Keza control keys to select a text based on your preference. Now, let's take a look at how to change the looks of the text. To be able to do that, select the text that you want to change its looks. The looks that we will be taking a look at is font. Now, when we see font, the font is a set of characters having the same typeface. Having the same typeface. Now, to be able to change the font of a text, make sure you select the text involved. Assuming you want to change this particular paragraph. Now, sorry, there is a way to select paragraph. It is just a triple click. Triple click selects a paragraph. So, I've selected my paragraph. After selecting it, I'll go to my font combo box. This is the font combo box. Now, clicking on the downward pointing arrow beside it, display the available fonts on my computer. Now, I can change my writing to any of the fonts over there based on my preference. Now, I'm changing it to Lucida Calligraphy. I've been able to change it. Now let's move on to the third paragraph and change it to area bold. Now I have selected that text. Go to the font combo box, click on the downward pointing arrow beside it, and then select area black. It is just as simple as ABC. Now the next thing that we'll be discussing is font size. Font size is a feature of a word processor that shows how big or small text should be font sizes are measured in points now to be able to change the font size of your text or your document select the text involved assuming i want to change the second paragraph the font i want to increase the font in the second paragraph i will just have to move to the second paragraph Triple click for it to get selected. Click on the downward pointing arrow beside the font size box. Then 
as you can see it is currently at 11 now increasing it as you can see is also increasing the size of the text so the bigger or the higher the number the bigger the text is going to be so i am going to leave it at size 18 been able to change the font size of my text and then also to be able to change the font color it is the same procedure i'm using this time around i'm using the fourth paragraph triple click to select the entire paragraph move to the font color command there is a downward pointing arrow beside it click on the downward pointing arrow select the color of your choice these are the colors available you can select any of them you feel like using I'm selecting this particular color, dark blue. I've been able to change the font color. This is very simple. Now, the next thing that I would like us to discuss is how to change the alignment. Alignment refers to how the, the arrangement of text on your page. It, it refers to how it refers to the arrangement of text on a page. Now we have the left align command which normally arrange the text at the left side of the screen we have the right align let me click on it so that you see how it works it has arranged it at the right side of the screen and then now let's try center this will arrange the text in the middle of the screen and then the justify command makes sure it stretches the text so that both the left and then the right margin are straight so in other words it flashes text at both end of the page the next thing that we'll be taking a look at is the line spacing tool the line spacing tool is used to increase the horizontal spacing between the lines of text with my first paragraph selected i'm going to click on the line spacing tool and then increase the number over there now 1.0 indicate or represent single line spacing you can increase it 2.0 represents double line spacing so if you are asked to change your line spacing to double you select your text click on the line spacing to and then select 2.0 it has now widened the space the horizontal spaces in between my text as you can see you can see a difference here look at the first paragraph compare it to the second paragraph the next thing that I would like us to take a look at is the bullet and numbering tool. We use bullet to create list of items and then we use numbers, numbering to number list of items. Bullets are typographical symbols. Now let's create a bullet for the paragraph. Now to do that, select the list or the text involved and then go to the bullet command click on the downward pointing arrow beside it and then select any of the bulleted options of your choice i prefer using this one now if you want to number a list of items let's assume i want to number the entire paragraph i would have to select all of them and then go to the numbering tool click on it select the numbering option of my choice I will prefer A, B, C, D. Now, it has numbered it for me. As you can see, the second paragraph is A, the third paragraph is B, and then the fourth paragraph is now C. That is how we number text in Microsoft Word. This is what I have for you in today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Click on the notification icon to get notified anytime we upload new videos. See you. Bye-bye.